Hey guys, the Cube Dude here, and today I have an unboxing from the Cubicle. So I just got this package, and I know of three of the cubes that are in here, but I can feel a fourth. So the Cubicle sent a bunch of these to test out, so... Oh, the fourth one. Okay, this one I believe I actually ordered. And then the rest are to be tested. So, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I, or I made another order, so I guess they just put both of them together. So that's even more awesome, so now I don't have to wait for another package. So I guess I will be looking over two other puzzles. The cubes from left to right are the Kong's Design Yu Yang, the Yushin 3x3, the QIYI Bullfight, the 55mm Dian Chang 3x3, and I'm not quite sure the brand of this. This is a Gear Pyraminx. I didn't really want to spend too much on the Mefferts, so if this is really terrible quality, I might think about getting the Mefferts. However, if it's decent, then of course I will uh, keep this and probably not get the Mefferts. But anyways, let's get into opening all of these. So the Yu Yang is actually the first cube from the Kong design, which is a new branch off of Moryu. So if Moryu was right here on the top, it would branch down to Kong's design. Uh, Kong has helped with several other Moyu cubes, and this is the third in the Ying series, which is the Huan Ying, and then the Li Ying, which is also the Huan Ying V2. So I guess this can be considered a Li Ying V2 or a Huan Ying V3. So in the review, I will have my mom ship over those cubes so I can compare them. And so look forward to reviews on these four because uh, I'm going to I'm going to be trying to improve my videos and especially my reviews. And also, as you see, there are no cubes in the background right there, which I usually do. That's a little switch, I guess. I also have a, a new microphone coming. My first microphone on this channel that is not from my phone. So I'm pretty excited for that. I got the Snowball, or the Blue Microphone Snowball. So I've heard lots of good things about all of these, except I haven't heard anything about the 55mm Dian Cheng 3x3. So... I could open this up, that'd be great. So, uh, right off the bat, the stickers, they're kind of like, they're like, they're really big gaps right there, I guess. Like, it's closer to the top right edge than the bottom left, as you can see. So, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and do first turns. I could definitely see how this would come from a Li Ying. The Li Ying to me, I'm not sure if this makes any sense, but it felt more like cubic, like more squarish. All the edges were like straight, and all the pieces, uh, they're kind of like cheaply, I don't want to say cheaply made, but they feel cheaply made. They're a bit hollow. But anyways, uh, feels good. The Li Ying was at one point my main, so maybe this will become my main soon. The logo is apparently an onion with glasses. So that's super sweet. So the first thing I thought when I saw a picture of the Yushin 3x3 is that it would be the exact same thing as the GANs. However, uh, I was just thinking appearance-wise, and as you can see on the GANs on the left and the Yushin 3x3 here, they look quite similar on the outside. So let's see if it feels anything like a GANs. I don't think it will. And the Yushin 4x4 is amazing, and nobody was really expecting that from them. So let's see if the Yushin 3x3 can compete with all the other speed cubes out there. So the stickers are just like the stickers on the Yushin 4x4. They're kind of textured in a way. I like the stickers, and I like the shades. They're very standard shades, as you can see. Uh, so let's go ahead and do first turns. feels very similar to the 4x4 in my opinion. Uh, it's a great 3 with you. Let's go ahead and look at corner cutting on it. Out, just straight out of the box. That is some pretty good corner cutting. Reverse is nice. Line to line reverse. That is amazing. I actually didn't look at the corner cutting on the Yu Yang. So let's go ahead and look at that. 45. Over. No. Just a bit over 45 we can do. In reverse. Not line to line. A little bit less around there. So, overall, these cubes so far, pretty good. 
take a look at the QIY bullfight. QIYI. Don't know what I just said there, actually. If anybody knows how to pronounce it, please let me know in the comments below because I have another puzzle from them. I think it is the floppy cube or super floppy. And I have no idea how to pronounce it still. Anyways. I got from JR Cooper's video that this is a cheaper version of a New Island Phoenix 3x3, and I do not have that, but I will soon be getting it. So let's go ahead and see how this performs. I've heard lots of great things about the New Island, and if this is just a cheaper version, then uh, if you guys want something like a New Island, then I would highly recommend getting this. But I would wait for the review because I will order that before I uh, review this. I might even review this with the New Island 3x3 if they're very similar. Anyways, let's get into first turns. For some reason, I'm just having trouble with the turning style. It's a very fast cube, very smooth. Uh, I can feel that it, new, that it needs lube. So it doesn't work with my turning style, but it is a fast cube, and I will definitely uh, use it for the next like week or two. I'll use all of these three by threes so I can get a good feel for them before all the reviews. But corner cutting, not 45. That might be because of the tensioning. Let's see on another side. I'm sure I can make it a little bit looser and have it do 45, but out of the box it does not seem to do 45. And reverse, around that much. So, overall, good cube. Uh, so far, in my opinion, the best one would be uh, the Yushin 3x3. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Dianchang 3x3. This is a 55mm cube, and uh, a lot of Dianchang cubes, instead of stickers or tiles, they simply print the colors onto the cube. And this can result in a lot of like scratching on the stickers or the, the stickers. So I just looked it up and this is actually 55 millimeters, or at least it's advertised to be 55. Here it seems like it's like, if anything, 56. But I'm just gonna believe it's 55. First turns. Uh, the edges are quite hollow, as you can see right here. And the turning, uh, it's a bit sluggish. And it's pretty tight. I don't think the corner cutting will be that promising. Yeah, you can't even do line to line. I'm sure I could loosen it up. I'm sure I could loose up, loosen up any cube to make corner cutting better. However, popping will maybe be an issue. So in the review of this, I will go over that. Out of the box, this cube, not that great. I wouldn't recommend it as of now. But maybe after lubing and tensioning it and working it in, maybe doing a couple hundred solves, Maybe it will get better. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, but this is the Heshu or the Heshu Gear Pyraminx. This is only $8 on the cubicle.us, and I'll have links to where you can buy all of these in the description. And I, I guess I will rip apart this box. So I had to tear apart the box, but I got the puzzle out. And so here is the Heshu Gear Pyraminx. I'm just going to go along with Heshu for the rest of the video. So here's the gear pyramids. Uh, let's go ahead and do first turns. It's not that bad. It functions well. I actually don't want to scramble it, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. But let's see if I can get it back. Okay, so it looks like the Mefferts one does not actually turn well. I just rewatched Red KB's video on the Mefferts one, and uh, there is a modification that can be done, and I have yet to watch that video, but I will attempt to try it on this, and it seemed like his was turning really, uh, really well. He also decided to add stickers to the middle. But I will have a video to Red KB's modification video down in the description, also a link to where you can buy this, and I will probably be buying the Mefferts one because this is terrible. Uh, it doesn't turn well at all, and if the modification does not work on this uh, cube, then I will definitely be getting the Mefferts one. Anyways, uh, some cool things on this, you can 
turn the whole cube by grabbing one edge and then grabbing the opposite one. I will also put a link to Red KB's video down in the description because uh, he has a great video over it and this is just an unboxing first impressions and he has an actual review on the Mefferts one and I will probably not be reviewing this so if you want to know more about the gear pyraminx I will have a link to his video down in the description as well as where you can buy all of these cubes from thecubicle.us so I'd first like to thank the cubicle for sending me these three 3x3s to test out for them I'll have reviews on all four of these 3x3s however not on the Heshu gear pyraminx if you guys have any questions please feel free to let me know in the comments below this video's question is what was your first cube I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.